YouTube friends. I want to show you the setup I've got in the corner here uh, where my sewing machine is because I've been stitching away on Liberty Fabric uh, for the last couple of weeks actually. Every now and then when I've, I'm in the mood I'll just uh, come and do this for half an hour or so. And the cat was asleep on the windowsill and she's just woken up. She's definitely taking over Norma's mantle, isn't she? Well, it's very nice to have a replacement cat and you are very beautiful. But I'm talking and so I want you on my knee or somewhere else. Are you, are you going to stay there? <laughs> so I do appear to have um, a, a Hello YouTube Friends cat again, don't I? She's quite a different personality to Norma. She's very skittish and very, um, you know, Norma, if anybody ever came to visit the house, not that anyone does that these days, um, she would jump onto their knee and she would sit there purring away, whereas this one would go and hide. She would just go and hide underneath the sofa until they'd gone. Now, of course, there are no visitors here today, and so she's uh, quite relaxed with me. But uh, it's quite interesting um, to see how different the personalities of the cats are. And she is lovely. So anyway, <laughs> hello YouTube friends, I was saying, wasn't I? And I was talking to you about what I'm doing in this corner. Now, um, ages ago, I showed you all the little Liberty scraps and bits and pieces that I had. Be careful, because the iron's on. Don't, be careful. She likes it really hot, but the iron is hot. I'm not going to get anything talked about, am I? Liberty, I took, uh, I'll put a link uh, either on the, on the end card is where I'll put the link because um, that's a good place to put it. To the video about the me unearthing all my Liberty scraps. But what I'd first of all like to say is that I got such a lot of really, really exceptionally good comments. And of course, one of the things I should do with the long strips is save them to tie up uh, plants in the garden in the summertime. So I've got a basket of, of all the strips over there, but I'll tell you what I did with the rest of the small scraps in a minute. What I'm doing now, though, is um, I've got all my blue ones out here at the moment. And I've got my uh, tape and I'm stitching um, exactly like Karen at Just Get It Done Quilts recommends. I'm doing that with blue Liberty strips. It's a really good video. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the description below if you didn't catch it the first time round. Um, and so I'm doing it with blue um, Liberty and pink Liberty. It doesn't really matter how long they are because of course I can always sew two together if I want to and make a longer strip. I can sew two side by side if I want to do that. I haven't really decided what it is I'm going to do with them. For now, making them is enough. And so I've got two that I've just finished making here. And what I'm going to do with them now is trim them down to... I'm actually trimming them to a half an inch off the end here, which gives me, because I'm making them much longer than I need to when I sew them. So I've got, I've counted the pink ones. I've got 14 of those. I don't know how many blue ones, probably about the same, but I'm nowhere near, anywhere near sorting out all my little tiny scraps. So I thought I'd just keep going a few minutes every time I feel like it, uh, making these um, blue strips. Uh, how I've got my setup here, I've got a drawer in the corner here that's got all the pink and blue scraps in and when I'm working on whatever colour I'm working on I just pull out a handful of those and then do two at a time and that's what I'm doing and uh, and I just I, I do it before I get sick of it I did have my little timer and I was doing my timer very much like Karen and just get it done quilts and um, and then I decided to, to stop using that and I'm using a different measure. Instead, I'm um, noticing when I get, to, when I just start to get fed up of it and I think I'll just stop before I get fed up because sometimes that's longer than 30 minutes. I know I could always put the timer on again, but you're just gonna sit there. You are, aren't you? I've got a few too many blues on the table. They keep falling off. So I'll put those back in the drawer. All right there, I can still see them. 
those are the very tiny scraps which I'll show you what I'm doing with those I mean they're too tiny that I mean look they're this kind of size I'm not going to use that I've got so many I wonder what I should do with the strips once um, once I've trimmed them down what should I do with them I've got loads so the setup, I've got my iron here, and so I can take a strip and give it a press. These um, strips here are either very narrow little strips like this one, or they're little bits of leftovers from uh, quilting. That one was the trip around the world quilt, and so what I'm doing with those is I'm just ripping them in half and giving them a press and then because they're the end pieces that I trimmed off on that job I'm now trimming this the longer bit down so that it's about the right width here so let's have a little sew of this then okay And give it a really good press and then once it's lovely and flat on the paper I'm ready to do the next bit and I've cut quite a lot of them exactly the size I need them so they're either strips or these lovely uh, piece together pieces and the strips sometimes are really quite narrow let's just move you so that you can see what I'm doing that's a bit better isn't it If it's too wide like that, I'm just trimming it to approximately half an inch. And then we're ready. And then I've got the tiny little pieces here. I'll show you about those in a second. It's loads of fun. <laughs> I'm having a lovely time. Some of these liberties, it's very hard to tell which is the front and which is the back because they're almost identical on the front and the back. And so it doesn't really matter, does it, if you get the wrong one. Now, it's quite hot, this tape, once it's been uh, ironed. Let's cut that one down, give it a press, it's really thin but that's lovely, nice skinny strips. Once you get going with this it's very hard to stop because you come to the end of a run and I've got all the papers cut to size here in my drawer next to me and it because you're chain piecing it's very hard to stop. I'll just put one more on. I'll just do one more. Well go on I'll just do one more. That's a nice piece. Let's cut that to size. It used to be about there. Sometimes I go a little bit wonky, S not straight. Don't really mind too much about that. Or maybe if I'll either straighten it up with the next piece or just carry on being wonky. That's okay. And we've run out of bobbin thread. 
So that's probably a good time to stop recording and I'll show you what I'm doing with the scraps on the table. trimmed up now and go on the pile with this one. I've got about equal numbers of them both now but they're just going to sit in a drawer and wait for me to have time or an idea for something to do with them while I keep making more and more of them. But the little tiddlies that I cut off are going in, well these are all the blue ones just now but here's all the some of the little red ones over, pink ones over here. And if you remember that video, I was looking at all the scraps that were in my big box, an overwhelming number of scraps. Some of them were quite big, some of them were really, really small, and quite a lot of them were long, thin bits like this. And your, as I say, your idea of tying up my sweet peas or my tomatoes. So all the, I've taken out all the long strips that are for that job, and they're gonna go in here, and I'm keeping those. I've also, in the box down here, got all the bigger bits of the bits I want to keep. But then these little pieces and, you know, some little bits and pieces like this that are not going to be of any use for me in that project or in any other future project. What I've been doing with them, because some people said um, they would buy them. And so here, if I just <laughs> reach over here, and I'll show you what I've made. So in here, I'm, I measured out 100 grams of scraps, all different colours, sizes, some tiny, some a little bit bigger, and I've wrapped them up a little bit like a packet of fish and chips. And uh, th that's all I've got, just that number. And But I will be able to make maybe one or two more, so they're not in the shop yet. But when I talk about these being in the shop, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. They're these. So I'm um, pleased with those they're just uh, the, the sort of thing that I would do with something like this I mean I can't, I can't keep them all I have way 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 too many way too many and so it's great to share them out with you because I wasn't certain what I would do I don't really want to stuff pin cushions with them because uh, if I've got plenty of pin cushions number one but number two I like to use walnut shells when I'm stuffing pin cushions and I've got a big bag of walnut shells upstairs so stuffing things that wasn't going to be the thing tying my plants up I love that so the long ones I'm keeping these things I would make into um, postcards I used to make postcards uh, loads of them uh, they were a patreon reward two years ago actually uh, and I kept all these little scraps and bits to make these postcards with uh, and so I'm not making postcards like that anymore, but I do sometimes make one little card uh, for a special gift. So I've got plenty though. I don't need to keep them for that reason. So it seems to me at the moment that it is really all about um, scraps. This project is long, long overdue. Uh, I think I said in the last video, this is a project whose time has come. And as I keep making these, strips which is like making fabric I don't know what I'm going to do with it but it's going to be really useful as I keep making those uh, so I am looking at some of my other scraps as well now I've just over on patreon I've just finished it's on the chair there the last of the alongs um, uh, as I speak the binding I still have to sew the binding down but by the time you see this I've probably finished it and they're all over there over on Patreon if anybody wants to see them. The reason I go on about Patreon sometimes is that it's a place where you can watch extra content ad free because you know how unhappy I've been about having to add ads to this channel and it had to happen because YouTube were just going to do it. But over on Patreon, there's nobody telling me to do that so I can offer the content ad free. And also you must have noticed the haircut, <laughs> but the person who cut my hair for me comes to the house to do it. And she very kindly allowed me to film it. And there's a lovely, uh, more than half an hour video over on Patreon of, of me and her cutting my hair. Well, she cut it, I sat still. Anyway, 
What I wanted to get back to talking to you about, I wanted to talk to you about another different way that I'm using my scraps. Now, I might have mentioned this before, uh, and I might have talked to you about how I use uh, little thread catchers, thread bunnies at the end of a run in order to keep the sewing moving when I'm chain piecing. And I've never really got the idea of doing leaders and enders, even though I've really wanted to. Well, on this latest quilt that's um, green and red, a big startlingly green and red quilt, I did embrace the idea of leaders and enders. So I'll move the Liberty to one side. And what I've done is from all my scraps of reds and pinks, I've cut two and a half inch squares. Just when the mood took me, I would just cut them for 10 minutes or so. And then from all the neutrals that I had, I cut two and a half inch squares. And my leader and ender was quite simply stitching two of them together like this. And then I've been surprised by how many I did. Big quilt. And so then I pressed them open. So I've got my little two by two leaders and enders here. And this is a small, that's a, that's a pretty big pile, but this is a smaller pile. But this is what's happened now, is that I've got these four patch things, which are uh, have no home, no destination, no idea about what to do with them. But for absolutely nothing, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here because you all know, don't you, what the value of doing leaders and enders. And if you don't, when I'll quickly explain to you that instead of chain piecing um, onto a piece of fabric you're going to throw away or leaving long tails behind, you just run your machine over something else, two little pieces of fabric that become another block. Uh, and then you build those up so that by the time you finish the quilt you're working on, you're well on your way to doing something else with the leaders and enders. Now, I've always wanted to do it. I don't know why it's taken me so long, so long, years, but I'm doing it now. And I'm a little bit of an, uh, you know, um, people who are converted, I become very evangelical. I'm very evangelical about leaders and enders now. So I've got all these two by twos here. These ones all need pressing open. And then I've got all these two by twos sewn as four by fours. And now I've got these four by fours. And there was one thought uh, in my head that again, what I'm creating here when I'm doing a project that I'm really invested in and really excited about getting on with is loads of little side projects that um, are really easy to pick up and do for a few minutes. I'm late to this party. <laughs> I'm sure you've all been doing this. But there's one more um, form in this scrap busting that I really want to embrace. And I might, have, I might actually have a go at it today. But I've been watching Missouri Star and I watched one recently where uh, Natalie and Misty and Jenny did a scrap busting challenge. Now, I wasn't so bothered about what the younger girls did with theirs, but I really like Jenny's. And Jenny is making at, uh, every morning she turns up to her work. What a lovely place to work Missouri Star must be. You know, you turn up to work and and it's sewing and quilting and fabric and you're surrounded by all of that stuff. It must be wonderful. It's a bit like here, but I'm on my own here, which I quite like. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, so she, she just sews for a few minutes uh, from her big uh, box of scraps and makes 10 inch squares. And she's not like I'm going with this, this lot here, I'm doing, you know, red and white. And then with this here, I'm doing pinks or blues. This is every colour under the sun, every single scrap of fabric, a bit of an orphan block or a bit of binding or a bit of uh, just a bit of something she's trimmed off something else. It all gets smashed together and I really do mean smashed. <laughs> so I um, and then she irons it all and cuts it with um, she's got a 10 inch ruler and I've got this ruler. Hang on a minute, let me get it out. I've got a 12 inch ruler so I can quite easily I can quite easily do a 10 inch with that or a 6 inch or whatever I feel like doing. I mean I haven't started that one yet and you might think well just finish something Kate before you start something else but actually no 
that's never been my style and it never will be. It's like, let's have some interesting things on the go all the time. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Uh, the leaders and enders, uh, when I have a few minutes to spare, I'm just pressing those open so that they, they are ready then to be leaders and enders again and turn into a four patch, quite simply, uh, a little four patch like that. Uh, so they're in the drawer beside me and I'll just pick two up and at absolute random, I'm not choosing them at all. And then because I'm pressing everything to the light here, uh, uh, they all nest beautifully. So I've got all these four patches coming together now. Big all over red and white checkerboard quilt, do you think? And we'll send it to Kath to be quilted with red thread. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Or not, who knows? <laughs> that one can just grow and grow and grow. And so can that one. But yeah, maybe next time we talk about scraps, maybe I'll talk to you about um, Jenny's 12 inch squares. <laughs> I'll link to that one as well. It was a triple play that they do. The three of them do a different thing with the same idea. It's really good. Aren't we lucky? I think I've said this before to have so many quilting channels who are really um, happy to share all their knowledge with us. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, because the iron's right here, I'm gonna press some more of these. And then um, I've finished with the Liberty for today. I might do some more of these fish and chip packets if I've got enough scraps for, and then they'll go in the shop. Uh, I don't know when, but look out for them. I tell you where that'll be, where you'll hear about that. They'll be in the newsletter. That's where we'll, te we'll tell you about them. Because every month Anna puts out a newsletter uh, towards the end of the month. I think that's what she's settled on doing. And if you signed up to the mailing list over on the website, you will be in with a chance of winning whatever that month's shop product is. Uh, and you will hear about what new things are going in the shop, plus all the things that are going on around about the last Holy house. Because at the moment, what's going on around the last Holy house is not very much, I'd like to say. It's kind of wintry and the garden's looking pretty sorry for itself. Uh, although, the snowdrops are just starting to peep up and they're just starting to put their noses up uh, above the ground. So there's evidence of spring everywhere, but um, it's still uh, and it's dark quite early still and it's still pretty um, wintry out there. So not very rewarding. Uh, it's got its own sort of beauty, though, hasn't it? Um, the, it the full, it was a full moon not long ago. And so standing outside on the back terrace here with the moon uh, and all the, the trace of the branches in the sky with that full moon. It's got its own kind of beauty if you look for it. It definitely has. And so, um, yeah, look for it, I'd say. I'm wearing my substitute apron because my last only house apron's in the wash. That's a nuisance. But that's OK because it'll be back out again soon. I've got another one somewhere, but this was the one I found this morning. Anyway, if I'm telling you about my apron, it's time to go, isn't it? If you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up because that is a, an interesting way for YouTube to engage with this channel and then push it out to more people. It was really thrilling to pass the 50,000 mark uh, not long ago and to be able to send that box out to one winner in the comments section. That was great. So I'll keep doing giveaways as the year goes by because I really enjoy doing them. <laughs> Uh, it's lovely to share all this stuff with you guys, but there will be uh, when the the Liberty goes in the shop, whatever else is going in the shop as well, there'll be a chance to win uh, that product. Yeah. So join the mailing list. That's what I say. It's over there on the website. All the links to Patreon, the website, Instagram, all the other things, all the other places that you'll find me are all linked below. Um, and uh, also the details about any music I use. You know, we write, Anna and I write the show notes so that you can find out a bit more about these videos. Anyway, I'm rabbiting. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, press the notifications bell and you won't miss anything. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye now.
In these last few days, I've got Agnes's quilt out and put it on the back board here uh, because the board was empty, uh, strangely. So this is the, I've sewn it all together now, that whole panel there, but I've decided it's not quite big enough. I decide this every time I get this out. So I'm designing a bit more here. These are loose on the board here and I'm just going to design a little bit more out here and maybe one or two more runs along the bottom. But I think we're soon, we're getting to the end of this particular project, and uh, the, the, the quilt top anyway, and then I'll be able to get on with the rest of it. So, um, yeah, I've got this quilt. <laughs> Long way still to go with that one. <laughs> 